This 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe, powered by a great run and V8 engine, backed up by a four-speed manual transmission. Um, this was an Ember Glow car and uh, does have the Ember Glow and the parchment pony interior. And that's exactly how the car came from the factory. If you go to our website, www.coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see all the codes, and I uh, decoded them all in there for you so you can see exactly how it came. Um, just a fantastic looking car. The car came out of Nebraska and it is super solid. Again, if you uh, look at the floor pan pictures, um, the floor is all painted body color, um, you know, older paint, um, all uh, its original paint underneath the car still. So I didn't see any patches or any uh, body work done underneath the car. So very, very solid 1966 four speed Mustang Coupe. When we got it in, the front and back bumpers were worn, so we did put brand new bumpers on the front and the back. Dressed up the engine compartment. It's got new uh, um, aluminum radiator on it. it. Does have an electric fan as well. Napa battery is new on it. Um, as we look at the inner fenders and stuff, there's no patches here on the top of the inner fenders. They're all nice and solid. It's got an Elderbrock four barrel carburetor intake, chrome. Uh, air breather and valve covers so just a nice looking engine compartment not overly done but something that you're not embarrassed when you uh, pop the hood now another thing is um, in my opinion all the jams are original so the door jams the trunk jam the paint on the trunk floor is still all the original paint no one's undercoated the trunk no one's put a patch in the trunk I mean this is a super nice survivor car that's had a uh, recent paint job, I'm guessing, in the last 10 years. So it still shines well, but it does have some little chips and some imperfections. Another thing, the engine seems to run great right now, but I do have a carburetor kit ordered for it. Um, we'll see how it runs on the way back, but uh, it's spit and sputtered just a little bit uh, when I drove it down here. So we do have a carb kit coming for it. Um, as far as the hood gap alignment is really nice over here on the driver's side. Fits nice to the front fender and the back. It's nice and flush all the way across here. Nice even gap. Uh, the grill and stuff has some little chips in the gray. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not new. But the horse and corral and the original grill are very presentable. Another nice thing about this car is just the way the body looks. I mean, you look up and down the sides, the uh, body line lines up excellent with the fender, door, quarter, the top body line, the body, bottom body line looks like it lines up nice as well. Paint has a beautiful shine. We do have a little bit of a burn through from the buffing right here on the body line. Again, not a show car, but a gorgeous driver. So by the road dirt right here, absolutely no blisters on this lower fender. That's excellent. We have a couple, just a couple little tiny, tiny little blister paint imperfections right in that corner of that door. Other than that, the wheel well trim is new. Rocker molding is original, so that has a few little scratches and stuff in that, but presentable. The back. Um, body line to this door is excellent. Nice even gap. It lines up beautiful across here and here. I'm, sh I'm really guessing these quarters are all original guys. It's super solid. Dual exhaust sounds nice. Cars rolling a little bit. I need to put the emergency brake on. There we go. Emergency brake works and holds. Um, as far as our interior goes, it does have the factory deluxe steering wheel. We do have a crack here in the steering wheel, a big one. Small crack over here. Um, dash pad looks great. No cracks in the dash pad. It's got the deluxe interior. 
And I really believe the interior to be original. We have a seam split here on the bottom of the seat. And we have some uh, tears on this spot right here. Seam splits right there on both of the ponies, on the driver and over on the passenger side. Seat backs are in great shape yet, nice and clean. Um, headliner looks good from front to back. I don't see any wrinkles and I'm guessing that's all the original, as tight as that is. Um, back seat looks great. Um, back shelf looks good. I don't see any imperfections anywhere in that back seat. Has the uh, door seat belts for two. Check out the door panels, how nice they are. Very nice door panels. Carpet looks good. It does have the console, four speed shifter. Um, corner of the doors, excellent. I mean, there's absolutely no putty or nothing like that in these doors that I can see. Bottom of the door looks great. Um, here's our code 65B, color is V as in Victor, uh, 64 trim. DSO is 75, date is 05L, axle is 6, and trans is 1. So I'm pretty sure this car came from the factory as a 3 speed car, um, but now is a 4 speed and shifts great. Um, as we come around the back, trunk lid gap looks good. A little tighter, a little tighter on the driver's side possibly than on the passenger, but uh, it doesn't look like it's chipping anywhere. The paint uh, doesn't come into contact at all. Uh, bumper's new, dual exhaust sounds great, um, chrome tips on it. We got a couple little tiny little scuffs right here. Um, little one right here, another one right there. Other than that, the body is super straight on it. Um, this backsplash panel right here, around this light, does have a dent in it. So that backsplash panel probably should be replaced. It's got a dent right above that light there. Like somebody just kind of backed into something down low. This is a great car for the money, guys. We're pricing it at $18,995, and you're going to look a long time to find one any solider. Again, the wheel well is good. We got a light, a light scratch right here. Um, no blisters anywhere I can see down low. It's all solid. Door solid. Front edge of the door, lower rocker, lower fender, everything solid. No blisters here on the driver's side. Um, paint on the front fender. We have a couple little tiny little chips. There's a little one right there. And a couple, a couple small ones. Very minor stuff. Check out how nice these doors shut and open. Body line's great on it. Um, door jam, paint is in really good shape. Original radio still in it, not working though. Wait a second, we do have some. Radio not working. Heater fan works. Temp gauge works. Amp gauge works. Oil pressure gauge works. Fuel gauge work. No, the horn worked. I just used it. Huh. <laughs> I used it when I was coming down here and it worked. Wipers, two speed, there's your low, and there's your park. I'm trying to think, dome lights work on the doors. When we open the doors, they come right on. So all of our gauges work. We'll try that horn a little bit. I think sometimes these horns have to, for some reason, the steering wheel just has to be in the e brake works as well. So everything works but the radio, guys. Not sure what happened to the horn, but that's something simple. This car 
car really runs nice. It sounds great, guys. Um, as far as the front suspension goes, it does not need a front alignment at all. The steering is excellent, nice and tight. Turn signal indicator inside the dash works fine. As far as our brakes go, brake stop, got stop nice, got a nice full pedal. I'll try to get on it a little bit here, guys, and just see if that carburetor is going to act up on us again. This car drives awesome. So, awesome driving car. Carburetor did not act up. We're still going to do that kit, though. Um, Goes down the road great, speedometer works excellent. This is a great driving Mustang, guys. Very fast, nice smooth ride. I'm gonna roll the window up. As far as our suspension and our steering and stuff, I'm real impressed with that. 70 mile an hour. Here's our brakes, drum brakes. We do have just a slight pull to the right. Very small. Brake's got a nice full pedal to it. Let's check our synchros here. There's fourth to third. Down to second. Got right to first, so we're in good shape there. 